When the One Piece anime remake got announced a few days ago, it took the entire internet by storm. There was so much praise, so many people hyped for it. But under the surface, there was also some controversy, some drama. And people out crying for why One Piece and why not their so-and-so series. And there was a lot of series when this news broke a few days ago that started to trend alongside of One Piece. Some of those series were Berserk and also Tokyo Ghoul. And it's been a very long time since those words have left my mouth. And I even had a video associated with Tokyo Ghoul. But I think it's a better time than ever to talk about it because of all the information that has kind of been coming out. So, I'm just going to be completely blunt here. We have no concrete information that a Tokyo Ghoul remake is happening. But there is some hope, some potential here that I do want to talk about. Because we live in a current era of anime now, to where we have a lot of remakes. For instance, you go back a few years, five years ago, the act of a remake of an anime like One Piece or even Spice and Wolf is not something that many thought was even possible. I know for a fact that for many years, I have begged for a potential continuation, even a season three of Spice and Wolf, and obviously... I was at the point of just giving up. I was at the point of giving up hope for a potential continuation. But then, there was an announcement very recently in the last year that said, yes, yeah, Spice and Wolf is getting an anime remake. And there has been a trend as of late, especially with a lot of older series that were very popular and had quite the cult following, getting remakes. And as more and more time goes on, the possibility, the chance of Tokyo Ghoul Re getting an anime increases, and there is reasons why this also increases, and I want to talk about that in a second. It has something to do with Chojin X, and if you don't know what this is, this is a series that Ashita Sui, the author of Tokyo Ghoul, is currently writing. It was It's his current work after Tokyo Ghoul, and I want to be completely blunt. I'm not caught up with Chojin X. I should be. I, I, it's, I'm doing a disservice to just how legendary of an author Ashita Sui is for not reading his work, because I'm going to be blunt. He's my favorite author. Ishida Sui is legitimately my favorite mangaka in the entire manga industry. I've always loved his work. I love his storytelling. I love his art. And so because of that, I have always, you know, just appreciated anything he puts out. I'm sad I am not caught up with Chojin X, but I definitely should. But before I go any further with Chojin X, I want to talk about Tokyo Ghoul. This is a legendary manga. It is something that really caused a lot of people to even dive into this type of storytelling. For instance, psychological horror and, you know, wanting to bring a lot of community discussion to the manga community. It was something that was just, you had to be there. You had to be there to fully understand why it's just such a legendary manga. Week by week, when chapters came out, it was just insane, the discussion around the story and what would potentially happen next for the characters. It was great. But there is one thing that has always stained the legacy of Tokyo Ghoul. And that is obviously the topic of the video, one of the topics of the video, and that is the anime. Tokyo Ghoul did not have a good anime. Anyone that has read the manga and then looks at the anime can look at it and say, yeah. The anime is not good. It's not. It has good music, good voice acting, but not good just storyboarding. Or at least, it, it's not good at following the story of why people enjoy it. And to put this in perspective, Tokyo Ghoul is a seinen psychological horror manga that follows Kaneki Ken, our main male character of the story. While the anime of Tokyo Ghoul, it turned what was a, an adult horror psychological into a battle shonen. That, that's what it basically tried to gravitate the story towards. It kind of lost the main message and themes of what made Tokyo Ghoul Tokyo Ghoul. And it legitimately disregarded things that people actually loved from it, and they didn't understand. People didn't just want to see fights. They liked the storytelling from Ashita Sui, the author of Tokyo Ghoul. And the first season just was a complete disservice. It like crunched in like 70 to 80 chapters like in just 12 episodes. And then the next season basically was not like filler, completely filler, but also not really filler. And it just, it completely demolished the story of Tokyo Ghoul's second half of part one. 
Then you had Tokyo Ghoul Re come out, and it was just completely confusing. Anyone that was an anime only, which you shouldn't have been, but if you're an anime only, had no idea what the hell was even going on in Tokyo Ghoul Re. And it just, it also wasn't even really a good anime. And so, for years, Tokyo Ghoul's reputation was stained by the anime, because let's be completely blunt here. An anime is very important. It brings cells and attention to a story. Think of Demon Slayer, think of Jujutsu Kaisen, think of Chainsaw Man, etc. Any, any anime you like. If it's a good anime, it's going to bring attention to the manga, light novel, whatever. And the thing of that is, is that Tokyo Ghoul's anime was really not good. It wasn't. But despite that, Tokyo Ghoul still managed to rise up in the ranks and become extremely popular while it was ongoing. It obviously never reached the status of something like Attack on Titan or how Demon Slayer is nowadays, but it does not change the fact that Tokyo Ghoul still was legendary at the time. And because of that, people have been wanting an anime remake for a very, very long time, but clearly at this point in time, it has not happened, which is now a perfect segue to get into the main point. For instance, as I talked about, we had a remake with One Piece. We have a Spice and Wolf remake. And these are series that, you know, nobody expected would actually get remakes, especially in a very long time. Now, let's talk about the author, Ishida Sui. So, what happened recently as of late is that Ishida Sui... He's been writing this series, Chojin X. He's pretty far in it, and there was an announcement that Chojin X official is now voicing manga content for Chojin X. Now, at first glance, this might not seem like anything. It seems like, okay, they're just voicing a manga panel. But that is where the things get very important with this. It's the fact that Ishida having his manga voiced means that they are establishing voice actors. They are establishing who's going to voice characters within Chojin X for an up coming anime. And this is very crucial because I've seen stuff like this before where you have voice actors voice certain manga panels and then maybe six months to eight months later there is an anime announcement. I have definitely seen this track record a lot with different shows in the past. And if anything is to believe this by, like if we go by past trends, that means a Chojin X anime is on the horizon. Now you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with Tokyo Ghoul? Well, if Chojin X kicks off the ground, okay, and the anime is very good, gets a good animation studio, it gets a good director, good animators, it gets that, you know, modern day art and animation that's just like, wah, you know, great, okay, it has the possibility of blowing up, being extremely popular, and then the other animation studios, the production committee and all that are going to take a look at it and be like, huh, this is a moneymaker, why don't we get more money, let's remake Tokyo Ghoul. And I feel like that is 100% possible, because with the One Piece anime now getting a remake, it does open the floodgates for anything at this point, because it's like, it was never thought possible that One Piece would get something like this, especially since it's still ongoing. So if One Piece could get something like this, Tokyo Ghoul or any series could get a remake at this point. And it's very possible if Chojin X does very well, and it gets an actual good anime adaptation and a good fan base, studios might want to pick up Tokyo Ghoul again. Which I feel like Tokyo Ghoul already has quite the fan base in general, so it would not be that hard to really rally people to want to get into the series to begin with. Now one thing I want to talk about, which is a little bit off topic, I do really like the fact how Ashida, even despite all these years, he's just very open with the community, talking with them about fan art and very happy about it. This makes me very happy. I, I love Ashida. Once again, my favorite offer of all of manga. I have always respected the work, and just seeing this, it once again, just kind of reestablishes my love for Ashida Sweet. And so, I know that this video obviously is going on rumors, theories, and speculation, but at the end of the day, there is a chance, there is a possibility that Tokyo Ghoul can get a remake relatively soon. But if it's going to get one, it's going to get one probably after Chojin X, if depending on how it's done. So I want to bring this to people's attention, that uh, let's cross our fingers, and that when the anime of Chojin X does get announced, because it's bound to happen sooner or later, especially with the voice actors being put on manga panels, you know, it's very clear that they're establishing what VAs they want. And once the anime comes out, I really desperately hope it gets a good studio, good a good team that really respects Ashita Sui's vision, what Ashita Sui stands for as an author, and what he offers. And I know, I, I know for a fact that an anime can never fully replicate the art's work from a manga. I know this. 
but I would like it to at least get the story right. Please just get the story right. That That's all I ask. And nowadays, when you think about just like what Tokyo Ghoul is, it is the perfect time period for Tokyo Ghoul to get remade as well. Hear me out on this one. We're in an era now where people want psychological. They want darker stories. They want, you know, supernatural type stuff, okay? Like, think of Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, and all that, okay? Chainsaw Man. Tokyo Ghoul, in a way, kind of falls into that criteria. It does slip in there with its own little niche and all that. So when you think about it, it also is in a perfect time period for a remake to cash in on current trends within anime and manga. So... Food for thought there. But anyways, I'll leave it at that. I just, I wanted to talk about this because I've been seeing a lot of conversation around it, a lot of drama around it and all that, thanks to, you know, the announcement of the One Piece anime. And I wanted to just talk about it because I love Tokyo Ghoul. I have so much respect for this series and I really do hope, even if it doesn't happen within the next two years, we get an announcement because it deserves one. It legitimately does. But at the very least, there is hope. There is hope that Tokyo Ghoul can be remade relatively soon, depending on how Chojin X does. So, I'll leave it at that. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like. If you enjoy my content, subscribe. But I love you guys. Chibi out.